The beauty of Football Rebooted is that we are talking grassroots all the way up to the Premier League. It was important that we spoke to focus groups before we started just to see where we needed to go. Um, there's an idea that just, you know, getting a load of football boots and handing them out is it, but you need to know who to direct them to, um, how to organise it, it's especially important because of environmental impacts as we set this up in the first place, um, to make local communities benefit from essentially local boots, which is what we're doing. Further afield, you look in Birmingham, there's an amazing setup which allows people to do that. My name is Richard Lindsay, I am the Sustainability and Insights Manager for Birmingham County Football Association. Football Rebooted came on my radar about 18 months, two years ago. Um, it just seemed a really good fit, a logical fit with the programme. Uh, we were very much struggling with the circular economy piece around how we connect uh, football and waste. Um, after initial conversations it just made sense to, to, to partner up with Football Rebooted and then cascade that down to our club network so they become collection and distribution points for us. So they set up collection points at their training or match days and then part of the scheme is then to have a, a redistribution uh, network as well, so using schools, colleges, um, charities um, to get the boots back into circulation. So we're over 50 clubs now uh, and about 3,000, 3,200 boots have been collected and kept out of landfill and then are being redistributed back into the community for use in football. And quite a few good news stories have come through. FC Crystal's relationship with the Briley Hill project is probably one that stands out. My name is Paul Kessel, I, I am the chairman of FC Crystal. FC Crystal, we're a small club uh, based in Stowbridge, grassroots team that plays in the Stowbridge and District Youth Football League. Um, at the moment we've got nine teams and we're looking to grow year on year. So we first came across the Football Rebooted Scheme um, via the Birmingham County FA. As a football club we want to do something different, we want to make a difference in the community. There's lots of negative aspects of football, including grassroots football, um, and so to come across something that can make a difference is special uh, and we want to be part of that. The response to Football Rebooted, it's, it's been excellent. Uh, the box was very visible, uh, it's right next to where we play football, um, and so parents were encouraged and kids were encouraged to bring those boots along and drop them in the box. When a, a new kid would come along with some boots, we'd take a photo with them, pop them in the box, pop that on social media, and that just kept it as a live thing for them to keep bringing the boots along. What struck me was about finding some kind of link up in the community to redistribute those boots. It'd be quite easy for us to just keep those boots and occasionally hand it out to kids at the club who needed them. But ultimately, what we needed to do was make a difference in the community. We were very lucky to be able to link up with the Bradley Hill Project, who've got a need for the boots. We've got the ability to collect the boots. It just seemed like the perfect match to make sure we got that happening. I'm Jen. I work with the Bradley Hill Project as a youth team co-leader. Riley Hill Project runs targeted life support and mentoring for local people. Friday Fitty, we've been running for quite a few years now for local young people to come and play for free. It's an opportunity for them just to have fun with their friends and for us to connect and make sure that they're okay and look at other ways we can support and help them. Football Reboot has been a really, really great opportunity for us to connect in with local football teams that use the facility as well. Uh, for us, it's a deprived area. A lot of them maybe would struggle to afford to use this sort of facility. For it, they need proper boots to wear, and so being able to link in with Football Rebooted so that we can provide football boots so that they can come and play, it's been brilliant. We've already had an example of a lad who asked to borrow a pair of boots because he needed them for PE at school. He was getting detentions because he didn't have the right footwear. We let him borrow a pair, he's kept them, he's grown out of them, he's given them back. Now he's got a different pair, the right size. So hopefully we can see that happening more and more. It's not just about them having them on a Friday for one hour, it's about having them for the rest of the, the, the time that they need them. No young people should not be able to play sports because they don't have the right equipment. So Football Rebooted will be really helpful for that. It would be great if every county FA adopted Football Rebooted um, and, you know, and, and used their, their influence within their network of clubs to, to build a, you know, a, a bigger um, collection and distribution network. Um, there's obviously a, a massive need up and down the country for, for this scheme uh, and to keep that one million pairs of boots out of landfill is the ultimate aim. Um, so keeping things in circulation for longer is, is, is key to this. Football Rebooted didn't invent recycling football boots, but what we want to do is get to a position where the country understands that we have a system in place which allows anyone 
across the country to be able to bring in their football boots and anyone to be able to access these football boots for free. If that happens, we're going to be very happy. Then I hope one day that we get to see a goal scorer of a World Cup final having got their first pair of boots through Football Rebooted.